with head coach Adam Bowie, the Pioneers, uh, participating at the 2017 Bob Dibble Classic, and each of the teams have the shared the first, not shared the first round lead, but have the first round lead. Uh, the men shooting a 286 uh, behind the 69 by uh, sophomore Anthony Bolden, and coach, just talk about your team's performance today. Pretty good all around. Uh, you always want to defend your home turf. You know, our goal this week was to collect two trophies, win on both sides. So it's off to a good start after one day. Uh, Anthony leading us with a 69. Pretty steady. I think he had one bogey. Really good golf. He could take it even lower tomorrow. So all around, pretty happy. You know, the teams are coming off the uh, Queens Invitational a week ago and coming in now hosting their first uh, home tournament. Uh, they also had a lot of uh, players also playing their first collegiate rounds today mm -hmm. for the Pioneers and mm -hmm. uh, also their first of the season. Like uh, you had a couple of 73s and also uh, Hunter Chanley got had a career low today. Uh, just how, how, they, how they hit it. Good. Uh, Bennett, Bennett No shooting even far his first college round. Very impressive. He was playing smart out there and hitting shots he needed to be. Uh, you know, not trying to hit the hero shot. Just playing for par a lot of times, taking his medicine. That's what we're looking for. You know, people that can come in here and compete. These freshmen have stepped in. They've been in the top five first two events, so that's what it's about. The women also have the first round lead shooting at 298. It was one off the uh, tournament record in a first round, uh, ironically by UNC Pembroke, the team that you uh, worked with back in 2014, uh, led by uh, Sierra Rotana shooting uh, one under par 71, which ties the first round record here at the Double Classic. Uh, just talk about that team's performance. Does that tie her career low? No, 71? one off, one off. One off? Mm -hmm. Well, that team was really lighting it up early. We faltered a little bit coming down the stretch, but I mean, anytime you're in the lead, you can't complain too much. But 16 shot lead by, to, by after today, we'll, we'll try to win by 17 or more tomorrow. That's our goal. And you also so extend a, the lead. You also had a couple of 73s, uh, one by Taylor White and uh, also another by uh, Katie, Katie. Mm -hmm. Very good. Good play all around. Uh, Maggie faltered a little bit coming in, but she is fighting sickness. She's not 100%. But anytime you can get that kind of score out of your five player, you're pretty happy. Tuscaloosa men and women have the first round lead at the Bob Dibble Classic.